ay post prodian here ah uh, pagpasensya niyo na at ba, uh, kung napapansin niyo ay eh, medyo ano ko medyo para nasugatan ako um long story short nagprito ako ng ano ng kakainin ko over the weekend and this was a friday dahil ano and uh, and friday is normally um parang prep ko or transition period ko from uh, from my one job to the other so alam niyo naman na parang buong eh, araw-araw ako nagtatrabaho and uh, I really hate it but I don't have any choice long story short na nagprito ko pumutok siya tinamaan ako I don't know kung tinamaan pa it, parang pagkain yung pagkain ay tumalsik sa akin o mantika lang but it's it's absolutely ano it's absolutely horrible not really horrible pero kahit pa paano yung naabatan ko through ano first aid yung ano ba um Ah, uh, yun, ano yun? Uh, hugas, parang lalagay mo sa tap water talaga at binuhusan ko talaga sa sarili ko, binuhusan ko talaga yung ulo ko ng ano, ng, sa shower talaga para lang, ma, para lang matigil yung pagluto nito and uh, yeah, that's also what happened here hindi ko napapal- hindi ko, yan, yan that's what also happened there in my ano my, uh, my hand, so kahit pa paano eh, nakatrabaho pa rin kahit na <laughs> technically medyo na ano ko medyo na puruhan ako but yeah lesson learned never um never heat up uh never heat up cooking oil too much and uh yun nga um siguro ano ano na lang uh, ingat-ingat na lang sa pagluluto uh, para hindi kayo mapatulad sa akin na Ewan ko, baka maging permanent scar na to sa akin and you might notice this for the rest of my life but bahala na. Anyway, uh, I would just like to let you know that I have, uh, uh, this is gonna be a very long, very very long um, video kasi ito ay isang biglaang live. In, uh, parang napaka minimal edits to. Uh, I just uh, wanted to edit this uh, out of context dahil nga parang yung iba eh puro ano, puro mga um, 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 pero I'll, I'll ano, retain that kasi ano, kasi uh, it's a, ito ito, nirecord ko siya bigla ang live, dinownload ko yung video this was in, uh, this was on Facebook uh, this was uh, uh, streamed on Facebook uh, from my other, uh, from my other device yan, anyway uh, ayun nga, um uh, So the quality would not be uh, it would not be as crisp, crisp as this pero um, it is what it is so yun lang naman uh one last thing uh this video is gonna have a lot of um a lot of jump scares trigger warnings and all that uh lalong lalo na at uh, may may kasamang horror din yung ano itong video na to so um I hope ano I hope you've been warned warned about that and uh, lalagay ko naman din sa description description sa baba na mayro mga konting ano konting uh, trigger warnings about it. So uh, without spoiling anything this uh, this is uh, the YouTube version of uh, my biglaang live from the 8th of December 2021. So with that said, let's go. The following video may contain sensitive topics. The views and opinions of the presenter to these are plainly his own. Furthermore, any and all views and opinions of the presenter do not, in any way, reflect the views, opinions, statements, and advocacy of his personal contacts, his family, his affiliations, and his profession. While the presenter makes a commitment that all content is original, he is obliged to cite references or acknowledge resources mentioned or used in the production of this video. This disclaimer is also written in the description below. I know what you love. I know what you dread. Ladies and gentlemen, from its studio south of Manila, IJR Productions presents The Intrepid Show. Good morning! 
Good morning everyone. Uh, my name is Ian Rinyon and welcome to a biglaang live episode of the Intrepid Show. Yes, biglaang live. Ito, uh, part na siya ng aking flagship program, itong biglaang live. Kasi, uh, you know, it's really, uh, it's really nice to be back and uh, doing live streams again. And uh, in the past few days, medyo, ano ako, <laughs> Medyo busy ako and uh, hanggang ngayon busy pa rin talaga ako kasi nga crunch time uh, as you might know in uh, in some of my videos sinasabi ko na na ano ako uh, I teach I teach kids for a living kaya ano uh, ngayon lang ako nagkaroon ng oras para mag live stream dahil holiday ngayon today is the 8th of December 2021 The feast or actually the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception, Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Uh, ngayon din ay ang katapusan ng taon ni San Jose o yung Year of St. Joseph. So yeah, it's a very couple thing. <laughs> it's a very couple thing uh, for this video kasi hindi lang sila yung couple na ina, uh, itatakil natin ngayon. Uh, at And uh, bear with me for ano, bear with me for a few ano, for a few minutes here, kasi uh, bibigyan ko ng ano, bibigyan ko kayo ng context tungkol doon. But anyway, uh, let me just oh shoot, wait lang, <laughs> wait lang. No, uh, dun na lang ako sa page ko. Ishare ko kasi to sa aking mga kasamahan because uh, you know it's really ano, it's really nice that I would have. Uh, some company here for at least a few minutes. Anyway, mga kababayan, um, let me just go ahead and get this sorted out. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, right. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, mga kababayan, ano, ah, uh, gusto ko lang sabihin sa inyo na, ano, na, uh, pasensya na talaga at medyo, behind schedule ako sa mga ano sa mga content ko kasi uh, this is not really my main job my main job is as i said to teach kids and then meron pa akong uh, secondary work on the weekends it sucks kasi gusto ko talaga na off ko talaga paglinggo para makapagsimba ako but then again it is what it is so yun lang anyway kape tayo now Let's get started with our uh, with our topics today. So unahin ko na ang ating butihing uh, butihing mahal na ina, the Blessed Virgin Mary. So a few days ago, some Protestant punk. Hindi <clears throat> ko na sabi yung pangalan pero karamihan sa inyo kailan nito kailan nito ng taong to. Dalong lalo sa ano sa mga Catholic circles ko. Basically, he said that Mary was also a sinner. So, eto ah. I do agree that God saved Mary. That's ano, that's a fact. God saved Mary. But the saving that God has uh, has done to Mary, our lady, is very very different from uh from the salvation that we wish to attain. So, yun lang naman. And, uh, sa totoo lang, gusto kong yun eh, mag-quote ng mga verses sa Biblia and all that. But, uh, let me just, ano, let me just, uh, ihalo ko dito yung konteksto ng, ano, ng analog horror or sabihin natin, ng alternate reality genre. In the past few months, a YouTuber named Alex Kister, the, uh, this guy is an American. This kid is an American. Uh, he's just one years old. Pucha, bata pa lang talagang ano na, gumagawa na ng mga gantong dekalidad na videos sa YouTube. Basically, he... Uh, basically, he... Uh, paano yun? <laughs> basically, he... Uh, created uh, a YouTube uh, channel called the Mandela Catalog and uh, basically it's ano it's um, it references to the Man- to, to the Mandela effect now the Mandela effect actually came from the concept that 
uh, South African ano, South African aparta- anti-apartheid leader and later president Nelson Mandela died in prison but uh, but uh, it was uh, it was uh, disproven because uh, by the time Nelson Mandela's uh, jail time was up he is very much alive and well and later became the president of South Africa or should I say the uh, first post apartheid president of South Africa so uh nakatuwa lang na ano na na binigyan na ng konsepto yon so that's a that's a good thing uh, i really i really enjoyed alex uh, alex's uh, alex's stuff and uh minado ko na yung ko sa batang yon kasi <laughs> um bata pa lang siya nakaranas na siya mag-edit nakaranas na siya magano eh. and here i am almost 29 tapos <laughs> almost 29 tapos uh, medyo basic pa yung ano ko editing skills ko basic pa rin yung ano ko video videography skills ko it sucks it really does but uh, what can i do so <laughs> yun lang naman anyway bakit ko na singit ang Mandela catalog sa Immaculate Conception kasi dun sa konsepto ni no Alex Kister uh dun sa ano niya sa sa universe niya or dun sa ano niya sa concept niya ng ano ng uh, reality eh uh, for some reason uh, for some reason uh, the powers of evil have uh, infiltrated into our uh, into our society uh, mind you this is just fiction na yun ito yung at yung kwento ng Mandela catalog ah. hindi to nangyayari sa totoong buhay but though um, it's ano it's really you know it's really something that would really ch- may, um, bring chills up your spine kung hindi kung sobrang tatakot mata- matakotin ka talaga so uh, he has this concept uh, called alternates mga alternate uh, ang ano nila ang modus operandi nila ay uh, tatakutin nila yung mga totoong tao and then uh, they would force uh, these people to either try to kill them or off themselves you know what i mean ganyan and um tayto medyo na ano ako eh na um actually hindi ako masyadong natatakot dun sa ano eh, sa volume 1 eh yung 15 minute video ni Alex sa Mandela Catalog. Um, tawag dito kasi uh, I'm not really that kind of a... Pero <laughs> nakakatawa nga eh. Kasi uh, it all started with uh, emergency alert system scenarios. Yun, yun yung ano ko. Yun yung naging trip kong mabangis na pinapanood ko this oras ng gabi <laughs> para hindi ako... Pa, siguro para hindi rin ako makatulog. But then again, parang what? Anong klaseng trip yan? Yan <laughs> yun na yung isip ko sa sarili ko. Anyway, uh, ayun nga. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, yung kauna-unahang video ni Alex Kister sa Mande- sa, cha- sa channel niya, sa Mandela Catalog, ay tiyatawag na Overthrown. Not Overthrown na T-H-R-O-W-N, but Overthrown na T-H-R-O-N-E. So, uh, more of overthrown na trono, not overthrown na sinipa, uh, pinatal, sinipa or slash pinatal sec. So, uh, actually, parang, fo- parang, ano siya eh, parang, uh, di ko maalala yung term na yun sa, ano, sa English, ano, English uh, language. Pero, it, parang double meaning kasi yung, ov- yung, ano eh, yung pagkakaanan yun ng overthrown eh. And, uh, nakaka, ano, uh, ang nakaka, What's interesting is that it was a uh, uh, ano yun? ang paano ko masasabing ang napaka-interesting dito ay ano uh, naging ano siya it, it became a thing or, or ang ang naging focus nung ano nung kwento ng overthrown ay uh, tungkol sa kwento ng Pasko 
the nativity story and uh, since we're coming up on Christmas advent na ngayon para <laughs> magandang timing to para <laughs> magandang timing to para i ano itake lang overthrown but yun nga um, uh, going back to the ano to that protestant punk uh, ang masasabi ko lang dun siguro eh uh, I understand that dude is uh, trying to say that God saved Mary as well. But as I said earlier, God saved Mary in a most peculiar way and in a most unique way. And, uh... Tawag dito? Nandun na nga rin yun sa, ano eh, sa Magnificat eh. My soul doth magnify the Lord and my spirit rejoiceth in God my Savior. Ang puso ko ay nagpupuri sa Panginoon at... at nagagalak ang nagagalak ang espiritu ko to ang espiritu ko sa Dios na aking tagapagligtas so what's the point of him uh, telling that uh, that uh, God saved Mary and uh, add the fact that Mary was a sinner uh, Mary was a sinner blah 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 to be honest uh, ayun yah eh. Ewan ko kung pinanood niya yung ano, yung Overthrown, yung Mandel, yung, uh, yung video na Mandela Catalog na Overthrown. <laughs> Pero, parang ang ano, parang ang, parang gusto niya iparating na ano, na, uh, paano ko masasabi to? <clears throat> na ano, <laughs> medyo ano siya, um, paano ko masasabi to? Kumbaga ano eh um, <laughs> he watched uh, maybe he watched overthrown all over and over and over again at ano parang parang pinarating niya doon na the angel Gabriel was a liar in which he is not he is absolutely not and uh, he is also absolutely not being replaced by an alternate <laughs> so <laughs> Kaya, kaya ko lang siguro na ano, kaya ko lang siguro na pagdugtong yung Immaculate Conception tsaka yung Mandela Catalog kasi this Protestant punk was ano eh, was uh, arguing a lot about uh, Mary being a sinner. Well, she was conceived without sin. Okay? Even Lutherans are even Lutherans are uh, conceding that Mary was conceived without sin. But then again, uh, that Protestant punk was no Lutheran. I think Calvinist she, and uh, you know Calvinists, they're the worst. <laughs> Among the Protestant bunch, the Anglicans are the the Anglic the Anglicans and Lutherans are uh, mapapakasamahan mo pa ang mga Anglicans at Lutherans. Yung mga Aglipayan medyo nasa gitna siya. But the, uh, or, or even the evangelicals, uh, it's high up there. But the Calvinist, the, but the Calvinists, I don't know. <laughs> some, some of the Protestants say they are the worst, pero who am I to judge? <laughs> anyway, ayun. Uh, wait lang. Basically, breakfast ko din to eh. Mabuti lang may... Pandesal dito sa Intrepid HQ. Anyway. <laughs> Di ko alam kung ano na. Pina, parang pinanood niya yata yung Mandela Catalog eh. Lala ni Overthrown. Tsaka yung Exhibition. Yung kahuli-huli ang video so far. na parang <laughs> nandun din yung ano nandun din yung parang alternate na Angel Gabriel alternate na Angel Gabriel or Archangel Gabriel and uh, the way that it's being messaged is ano parang paano pa pabulong parang do not be afraid my dear shepherds I have great news I am your true savior Parang ganun. <laughs> um, 
siguro after this ano after this uh, biglang live after the fact eh lalagay ko na lang din yung mga references ko uh, lalong lalo na yung uh, video ni Alex Kister dun sa overthrow so na ano na ako <laughs> parang natit ni man sana trigger ako pero natatawa na lang ako natatawa na lang ako na uh, some protestant punk is, uh, is saying that um, the virgin mary was conceived with sin but in fact she was conceived without sin now for sure hindi siya nagbabasa nito na the catechism of the catholic church i have two copies ito yung medyo uh, lalas pagin kong copy kung <laughs> um because the other one is ano parang naka plastic siya but anyway um let me read to you na miss ko to <laughs> na miss ko to magbasa ng catechism and involve myself in some kind of apologetics but yeah that's the past that's absolutely the past pero yun nga i would just have to read all of this uh from paragraphs 490 to 493 of <clears throat> of the uh, catechism of the Catholic Church because this part uh, deals with the Immaculate Conception of the Virgin Mary. So it, it goes, To become the mother of the Savior, Mary was enriched by God with gifts appropriate to such a role. The angel Gabriel, at the moment of the Annunciation, salutes her as full of grace. Uh, you might, you might uh, notice this. Hail, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. That was the, uh, no, that was the greeting of the angel, uh, the angel Gabriel. Karamihan na, eh, kal- kalimitan ang sinasabi ka agad ng mga anghel, do not be afraid or be not afraid. <laughs> Nagiging meme na nga siya kasi doon sa mga tiyatawag nating mga biblically accurate angels. Na, na puro mga gulong at ano gulong at mata and I do believe that I do believe that is one of their manifestations I do believe that angels manifest like that at some point in uh, in our uh, in salvation history and in ano uh, and in uh, our own history malay natin ba but yun nga uh, with the Virgin Mary with the with the um, with the blessed mother with our lady ang ang naging ano ang naging bati sa kanya hindi be not afraid ka agad eh that was secondary parang sinabi niya hail full of grace the lord is with thee um so parang siya sabi dito parang so par so for that pro- so i would ju- I'm, I'm thinking i'm thinking i was i was supposed to ask that protestant punk so is the angel Gabriel lying? Nung sinabi niya, hail full of grace, aba, aba na pupuno ng grasya? <laughs> or, magalak ka na pupuno ng grasya? I am the, a- the angel Gabriel. I've come to bring good news. I mean, was the angel Gabriel lying at that time? O, parang... <laughs> Parang siya sabi niya na parang siya sabi na niya or um, <clears throat> going back to the Mandela catalog uh, uh, reference eh naging alternate na si Angel Gabriel or si San, si San Gabriel at uh, yung nagbati dun sa nagbati dun kay, kay ano kay Maria ay ano na isang alternate na at hindi na ang Angel San Gabriel parang de ba it's really absurd it's really absurd sorry pero it's it's just it is what it is. It's absurd. Anyway, bag before I get hysterical, allow me to read the rest of this. In fact, in order for Mary to be able to give the free assent of her faith to the announcement of her vocation, it was necessary that she be wholly born by God's grace. Through the centuries, the church has become ever more aware that Mary, full of grace through God, was redeemed from the moment of her conception. That is what the dogma of the Immaculate Conception confesses 
as Pope Pius IX declared or proclaimed rather in 1854. The Most Blessed Virgin Mary was, from the first moment of her conception, by a singular grace and privilege of Almighty God, and by virtue of the merits of Jesus Christ, Savior of the human race, preserved in, uh, immune from all stain of original sin. The splendor of an earthly unique holiness by which Mary is enriched from the first instance of her conception comes wholly from Christ. She is the redeemed in a more exalted fashion by reason of the merits of her son the father blessed blessed mary more than any other created person in christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places and chose her in christ before the foundation of the world to be holy and blameless before him in love the fathers of the east of the eastern tradition Call the Mother of God the All Holy, Panagia, Panagia, and celebrate her as free from any stain of sin, as though fashioned by the Holy Spirit and formed as a new creature. By the grace of God, Mary remained free of every personal sin her whole life long. Dagdag ko na itong paragraph 494 and this is basically uh, Our Lady's response to the the, the, uh, the declaration or the announcement of the angel to her. Whatever God wants, I will do. At the, at the announcement that she would give birth to, to the Son of the Most High, Without knowing man, basically uh, without having, uh, so, sorry for the term, and sorry for the howling dogs. Um, dito, sorry for the term, ha, pero basically, sinabi ng without knowing man, without, uh, without, uh, without, under, without uh, getting into sexual discourse, or uh, sexual intercourse rather, um, especially with uh, St. Joseph. Uh, for uh, for the context of the uh, of the biblical story, by the power of the Holy Spirit, Mary responded with the obedience of faith, certain that with God nothing will be impossible. Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to Thy word. That's what that's what her response. That what that's Our Lady's response was. Thus, giving her consent to God's word, Mary becomes the mother of Jesus, espousing the divine will for salvation wholeheartedly, without a single sin to restrain her. She gave herself entirely to the person and to the work of her son. She did so in order to serve the mystery of redemption with him and dependent on him by God's grace. As St. Irenaeus says, being obedient, being obedient, she became the cause of salvation for herself and for the whole human race. Hence, not a few of the early fathers gladly assert the knot of Eve's disobedience. Uh, the, the knot of Eve's, Eve's disobedience was un untied by Mary's obedience. What the Virgin Eve bound through her disbelief. Mary loosened by her faith. Comparing her with Eve, they call Mary the mother of the living and frequently claim death through Eve, life through Mary. So, mga kababayan, mga kapatid, <laughs> um, that is what is written in the Catechism of the Catholic Church. I, If you're a Catholic, I recommend that you have a copy of this. Medyo makapal siya, but this is your uh, secondary reference uh, next to the Bible. So, uh, when it comes to uh, basic ano, basic tenets of the Catholic faith, you, you need this. You absolutely need this. Anyway, uh, I'll... Kaya ako lang, nilabas ko lang talaga yan. Finlex ko lang talaga yan, ano, na may copy ako ng catechism because um, it's high time that uh, people would know why why on earth are we celebrating this national and ecclesial, ecclesiastical holiday. So, uh,
Now let's go to our lady's most beloved spouse and uh, the the man that she has loved all her life and through eternity. Si San Jose, Saint Joseph. Uh, you all know that uh, Joseph is my second name. I was uh, I was born born and baptized as Ian Joseph. So uh, medyo ano din, medyo it really hits hard on me that uh, I'm I'm named after the spouse of the Virgin Mary and napaka ano siya, napaka <clears throat> it's an absolute privilege. And uh, as a poor wretched sinner, I am very much you know, I'm very much uh challenged uh at best to become holy kasi yun naman talaga ang ano natin eh di ba kung kung naniniwala ka sa Dios eh gusto mo talaga makarating ng langit di ba yun naman yun di ba <clears throat> anyway today marks the end of the year dedicated to Saint Joseph this was actually uh something that was um, materialized because of the work of a certain priest named Father Don uh, Donald Calloway. Now, Father Calloway was an asshole uh, in his youth. Nung bata siya, sobrang sakit siya sa ulo. Sakit siya sa ulo ng lahat. And he did a lot of shit. Uh, alam ko, hindi, ganit, hindi na ganitong magsalda si Father Calloway, pero basically, every single thing that you might see as, uh, no, parang, uh, you might, every single thing that a rebel kid would do, Father Calloway did. So, talagang, uh, yeah, he he was really an asshole. Uh, he was really an asshole as a young adult. But, through the grace of God and the loving intercession of Our Lady, nabago yung buhay niya. Naging katoliko siya and, uh, thanks in no small part to our uh, to our own people dahil karamihan sa mga naka-influensya sa kanya karamihan sa mga naka-influensya sa kanya na maging katoliko at maging pare ay yung mga ay mga Pilipina <laughs> our very own Filipinas uh, who are either expatriates in the United States or um Americans of Filipino origin. So, nakatuwa lang na yung mga kababayan natin ang nag, ano, ang nag, pa, nagpabalik loob kay Father Calloway sa Diyos. So, nakatuwa lang yun. And, uh, because of this, uh, and because of the fact that he was, he really was, um, he really was, uh, orphan at some point although nagpakasal ulit yung nanay niya sa isang matinong tao uh, of course naghahanap din siya ng father figure niya even though he has uh, the, the father figure in his foster father parang naisip niya yeah the world needs Saint Joseph I mean hindi lang siya hindi lang siya yung ano hindi lang siya naka-relegate doon sa mga Belen natin hindi lang siya yung hindi lang siya yung tao na parang naka-sideline lang siya doon sa ano sa pagdedebosyon natin sa Birheng Maria in fact the blessed virgin mary loved her so much and i'm pretty sure that when saint joseph died in the arms of jesus and mary our lady is absolutely devastated. And I think yung depiction sa kanya dun sa The Passion of the Christ, yeah, that bloody you know, that bloody uh, crucifixion uh, sin, er, uh, bloody passion uh, movie by Mel Gibson. Our lady was depicted as a widow uh, wearing black uh, wearing black wearing a black dress. Kumbaga I am not sure kung yun yung suot talaga ng mga babaeng hudyo or mga babaeng hudyo na nabalo. 
but uh, the depiction of Our Lady in the Passion of the Christ says it all that she really loved um, Saint Joseph and uh, she really missed her uh, she really missed him so yun in fact uh, in some of the apparitions of Our Lady na approved ng Roma there are even times that uh, Saint Joseph appears to the visionaries as well silently <laughs> silently as uh, even as ano even in even in even in our time tahimik si San Jose but even if he is silent or sabihin na natin uh, walang uh, there's nothing recorded of what he said he's a man of action he's a he's a man who do who who does things more than what he, what he said I understand that uh, Christ is uh, madaldal talaga siya because he is the divine teacher, that's for sure. Pero natuto siyang magdasal in human form through St. Joseph. Nakatuwa nga yung, ano, yung, mga, uh, tra- yung mga works ni Father Calloway at uh, sayang hindi, hindi ko pa nabibili yung mga kopya nung, ano, nung uh, specifically yung ano niya, yung uh, libro niya na Consecration to St. Joseph. So, uh, I hope that I can uh, have it for Christmas. Uh, baka naman. <laughs> baka naman. Um, baka naman, Father Kalo. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, I guess I could, um, I could, uh, what I can say to Father Calloway is this. Father, you, you earned that sabbatical. I hope that uh, your bishop, bishop or your superior, kasi alam ko na siya eh, parang more of a religious priest, pero yeah, more of a missionary priest uh, than a religious one, but hindi uh, lang siya sagutin sa obispo niya, or hindi lang siya sagutin sa obispo, pero uh, dun sa superior, sa superior ng ano niya, ng missionary congregation niya. So, um, I'm pretty sure that you, uh, you deserve a sabbatical after, after this year na <clears throat> talagang you know you've been working so hard for this uh, you've been working so hard for this father so i really you know i really think that you uh, you deserve uh, you deserve a sabbatical leave uh, for you know of course um, of course we 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 wish you to uh, to still pray for us still offer mass for masses for us that's your job as a priest but all the other stuff, uh, the all the all the other non-sacramental stuff. I hope they would uh, they would uh, they wouldn't give them to you. They wouldn't give them to you uh, until next Advent, because you really earned that, man. I really, I really believe that. Uh, and to be honest, uh, every time that I listen to your uh, previous talks, because it, uh, because some of your some of your uh, speeches or some of your talks have been uh, recorded uh, and uh, already online for the cons- consumption of everyone. Uh, I can't help but uh, tear up. Not only because of uh, not only because of your explanation. That's the uh, uh, that's the huge that's a huge part of it actually. Not just because of that, but because of your personal story that you were an asshole i understand that you were an asshole uh, when you were when you were young but because of god's grace and our lady's beloved intercession as well as the as well as the spiritual fatherhood of saint joseph to you man you're <laughs> you're done <laughs> You're gonna be a priest, and um, the rest is history. You're um, you're giving talks like this, and I, and we really admire it very much. So, if ever this um, this reaches you, Father Calloway, I would like to thank you for everything that you've done for this year, and I hope you would uh, enjoy a sabbatical leave uh, after this, so that uh, you can take your rest. Uh, it's written, right? It is written. The the laborer 
deserves his pay. So, uh, I guess uh, that's the compensation that I personally wish you to have. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, bago pa ako mag nosebleed, mga kababayan, uh, I would end that, ano, I would end that uh, part of the discussion. So, <laughs> sorry. Marami din naglala ko dito sa umaga, mga kababayan, uh, dito sa hood namin. Uh, sa hood ng Intrepid HQ. So, yeah. Anyway, mga kababayan, uh, <clears throat> so we've already talked about the Virgin Mary and her Immaculate Conception, uh, the end of the year of St. Joseph, uh, the Mandela Catalog, and um, as you might notice dun sa, no, sa title ng ano na to, ng biglang live na to, we would, have, we would have one last thing, and that's Kong and V. So, Collected din siya dito sa topic na to kasi uh, natatandaan siguro natin na a uh, few months ago, I think this was in April or May, pumisita ang Team Payaman sa Lanunciata Parish sa Montilupa. A few kilometers, uh, just a few kilometers from here. Pero kailangan nakakotse ka para makapunta ka doon. Or, uh, tsatsagayin mo talagang i-bike. So, uh, yun yung ano doon. Yun yung uh, siste doon. Um, Lanunciata is actually a church or a parish uh, handled by the Oblates of St. Joseph or OSJ. Now, uh, mga because of that, uh, they have a special devotion not only to their patron, St. Joseph Marello, but also to St. Joseph. Uh, St. Joseph, the spouse of the Virgin Mary. So, um, basically, medyo ano din eh, medyo uh, sabihin na natin busy din ang OSJ ngayon. Uh, parang da, uh, ito, parang katapos na ito ng pagkabisi ng mga OSJ ngayon kasi nga they've been um, parang parte din sila sa pag-advocate ng um, debosyon kay San Jose and uh, matatandaan natin na bumisita doon ang Team Payaman and uh, Father Osorio uh, gave Kong Bosking uh, Yo and uh, Juni Boy uh, ewan ko kung tingi isa silang imahe ni San Jose pero napansin ko napansin ko lalo na doon sa latest video ni V. Cortez may imahe ni San Jose uh, doon sa desk malapit sa pintuan ng kwarto niya na Kong at V sa Paya Mansion so uh, at least ano at least alam natin na yung isa sa mga imahe ni San Jose na binigay ni Father Rosario ay nandun sa loob ng payaman siyon. So, uh, na ano ko lang, uh, na, I'm not, ano, sa totoo lang ah, mga kababayan, I'm, I really am questioning the, ano, the fact that um, Kong and V are cohabitating at ngayon, eh, meron silang, ano, meron silang, uh, uh, tayo si V ay nagdadalang tao. But I hope, uh, they would discern um, discern getting married hopefully soon hindi ko naman sila pinipilit pero since andyan na yung bata and besides yung nani ni Kong eh nagsalita na rin mapapakasal ka na ito ay tayo ma tayo mapapakasal ka na De, ito ay ang aming oh? baby Woo! <laughs> so I think it's about time. It's about time, man. I mean, ma- kung mahal nyo talaga ang isa't isa, make it official. Yun lang naman yung sa akin. Wala na, I mean, oo, na, oo medyo cringy sa ibang mga tao, lalong-lalo na sa mga hardline Catholics na, na nakakasalambuha ko online and offline. Medyo ano sila, medyo questionable din yung ano nila, yung uh, announcement na yun dahil nga their their absolute uh, their absolute influencers at sila na yung pinakamatino sa top 10 na bin, na, 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 na I think it's YouTube yata ang nag YouTube yata ang nagano ang nag uh, share nito na ano yung top 10 ano top 10 um, Filipino YouTubers na sikat and number 10 si Kong I mean what the bloody hell what the bloody hell? Ma- I mean... 
Ewan ko ah. Tawin to, dahil ba, ano, dahil ba sa impact ng ibang mga ano na to, mga ibang YouTubers na to, dahil nga, uh, kung ano, na, parang, te, dahil lang, parang, nang, nang ha-hijack lang sila ng trend, or nang jack lang sila ng trend. Kasi, ano eh, some people are saying that uh, of all these 10, Kong's content is very much unique. And uh, rightfully so. Kasi nga naman, ano eh, oo oh, sige, comedic, uh, vloggy, and all that shit. But, dude, at least he, he deserves to be at number f- number 6 or number 5. Number 10? That's, that's preposterous. That's, ah, ewan ko, parang, na ano ako eh. Tao, ito yung iba nga nagsasabi eh. Ito, bakit wala si Ninong Rai? <laughs> or, maybe, the, the comment that I gave is, parang naging cooking show to ah. <laughs> Luto. <laughs> Luto. Anyway, <laughs> besides the point, uh, still, congratulations kay Kong, kasi ano, nandun sa silistahan, but, quite frankly, he deserves to be at least on the top 5. Kasi nasa top 5 ko siya at siguro naman ay nasa top 5 siya, top, top 5 niyo siya at nasa top 5 siya ng mga top 5 niyo. Sorry sa balakid reference. <laughs> Pero it is what it is. Anyway, going back to the V. Cortez pregnancy. Uh, yun nga eh. Uh, as I mentioned in, in my previous status din, eh, parte ng CFC kasi ang ano ang core members ng team payaman and when i say core members uh, the Vel- the Velasquez siblings at yung magulang nila malamang sa malamang si Papa shout out at si Mama Revlon CFC sila tapos YFC/SFC yung mga anak nila for sure si Boss King at si Pat ngayon ay mag-asawa na eh nag-transition na sa CFC probably pero yun nga <clears throat> I just hope na they would take it seriously as well. Uh, beside, beside, uh, or, or aside from ano, aside from taking their um, they keep taking their uh, content creation seriously. Kasi yun nga, uh, what profit is it? Or nakalimutan ko yun eh. Nakalimutan ko yung Bible verse na yun eh. Pero What profits what what does man profit when he has the whole world but he lost his soul? Parang ganun yung ano, parang ganun yung, ano, yung quote na yun. But anyway, yun nga. Uh, I really hope na ano na um, i-consider talaga ni Kong at V ang magpakasal. Okay lang kahit na pagkatapos ng mga anak ni V, okay lang yun. I mean, it's not the ano, it's not the issue. I mean, si Juni Boy nga at saka si Vien eh. Um, nagkaanak sila but uh, they're trying to correct it kasi sila na yung susunod na ikakasal. Tapos, ano, tapos nag, nagtanong na rin si Kev, Kevin Hermosada kay Abby. So, uh, basically si Kevin yung ano, si Kev yung, uh, or si, uh, ano bang ano niya? Si Baldo, <laughs> yung ano, yung editor ni Yo. So, I think it's just ano, it's just um it's just proper na mag ano na ano mo yun magtanong na rin si ano, magtanong na rin talaga si Kong kasi I I understand na hindi pa siya ano, hindi pa siya handa spiritually but given these I think uh they should start discerning talaga. They should start discerning kasi uh para din to sa bata para din to sa magiging anak nila. Or to be, ano, or to be, or to make uh, a reference to St. Joseph and uh, the Angel Gabriel. Uh, and it's not the... Wake up, Joseph! Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake No, not that, not that. Uh, just to, ano, uh, just to contextualize the nativity story with ano, with what's happening with ano, with Kong and V. I say this, and I, and I say this, and I quote uh, the angel Saint Gabriel for this. 
Kong TV, Son of Tito Bal, do not be afraid to take V. Cortez as your wife. <laughs> Yun lang. Hanggang doon lang. Hanggang doon lang. Kasi, I don't wanna, no, I don't wanna reference too much about it. Pero, yun nga, um, I pray, pinagdarasal ko, na, mapalakas ka ko. I mean, mapalakas yung, ano, yung, um, yung diwa mo. Mapalakas yung, yung sarili mo. Kasi, y- andun na yung dedication mo eh, na, andun na yung dedication mo na, kahit maghapon magdamag, ano, uh, kahit maghapon magdamag, umiyak yung anak mo, eh, babantayan mo. Kahit umiyak siya maghapon magdamag, babantayan. <laughs> I ha, I, I admire your, ano, I, I really, I admire your dedication. I really hope you would be that dedicated talaga as a, as a father. I just hope na tawag dito, hindi lumaki yung magiging anak ninyo na, ano, na tatanungin nila, Mami, Daddy, bakit wala kayong, ano, wala kayong bakit wala po kayong picture na kasal kayo? ba? Diba? And it's really devastating for, ano, for, uh, for children who were, who were born out of wedlock without, without, uh, without, without their parents getting married. So, yun lang. I mean, yun lang naman ang concern ko, ah, pero, at the very least, I, I congratulate them for, uh, for being parents kasi talagang na-devastate kayo last year. Al- naintindihan ko na-devastate kayo last year kasi, ano eh, nakunan si V eh. But now, it's for real. And I really hope that um, Kong TV would have the courage to be like St. Joseph. To take V. Cortez as his wife. And besides, kinukulit na nga siya ni V eh. <laughs> So, I think it's about time. I mean, you've already proven yourself, man. I mean, alam ko na dun pa rin yung ano, you still hunger for more. You still hunger for, uh, you still hunger for, uh, in becoming a better person. And I think this is the, this is the best way for you to become a better person, to marry V. So, uh, that's just a, that's just a fraternal advice from a very small YouTube nerd who happens to be a Catholic, who happens to uh, be named after St. Joseph. So, yun lang. Anyway, this biglang live is dragging too long now, alas ocho na, at uh, I have a lot of things to do. Marami din ako, ano, marami din akong, um, marami din akong gusto ring pag-usapan din, but sa ngayon, ito talaga yung pinaka-top trending talaga, aside doon sa, uh, mga, pinag-usapan na natin, uh, in the past few videos on YouTube. So, I think, uh, we're done here and uh, naintindihan ko rin na medyo busy din kayo dahil uh, busy din kayo sa ano sa mga <laughs> mga gusto yung gawin kasi holiday ngayon and I understand you can still watch this you can still watch this replay and all that and um, again uh, to Father Calloway for his uh, for his work in um in promoting the devotion to St. Joseph to Alex Kister and his uh, and his work for the Mandela Catalog and to Kong TV for uh, being for being a father for real I salute you guys cheers
I know. Bakit ako mag bakit ako magto-toast ng ko- kape? Eh no meron ako ngayon eh. And come on, it's, in, it's 8 in the freaking morning. Bakit ako mag-aalak ng alas 8 ng umaga? <laughs> anyway, I think we're done here. And I would like to thank you for um for watching or listening this on the background and uh With all that said, this is Intrepidian Renyon reminding you to, at all times, be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Until then, look alive, stay alive. If you're a Catholic, go to Mass today. Magsimba ka ngayon. Kaya nga naging national holiday to para makapagsimba kayo because this day is a holy day of obligation. Okay? So, go to Mass today. Okay? Yun lang. And as always... Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Ian out. Bye-bye. Hi, Post Prod Ian here. Um, habang nag edit uh, gusto ko lang i-share sa inyo yung, ano, yung parang uh, more or less my um, home altar here at Intrepid HQ. This is my personal home altar uh, in the workstation. Ah uh, ito yung parang background ko kumbaga. Ah uh, kapag nagre-record ako ng mga ano, ng mga uh, videos ko sa YouTube or kapag nagtuturo ako. So as you can see, I have two images of St. Joseph. The one uh, the traditional one here, uh standing erect and uh holding the child Jesus and uh the now famous sleeping St. Joseph which was basically uh, Pope Francis's um uh, contribution to the devotion of uh, to the devotion to St. Joseph. So basically parehong valid tong ano na to, devotions na to or valid tong mga images na to and probably the sleeping St. Joseph is really something that I can definitely you know I can definitely uh, vouch on kasi ma- maantukin din akong tao. <laughs> and um And just like Joseph the Dreamer and St. Joseph, I have a lot of dreams myself. And uh, yun nga, um, kumbaga, it's a really nice touch uh, in the devotion uh, now that uh, now that the, uh, the year of St. Joseph has ended. But the devotion would remain and would probably be forever etched in uh, the series of, not really devotions, but in a series of... Uh, Uh, devotional uh, expressions of the Catholic Church. So, yun lang. Yun lang naman ang isi-share ko sa inyo uh, habang nag-i-edit. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that um, St. Joseph is absolutely contextualized at this point.